you're full of homework today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Stop one moment, please. Lloyd? Lloyd Nebulon? Hey, Nebulon! Huh? Close that comic book and pay attention. Uh, yes, ma'am. If your class and Mr. Van Cyborg's class are going to give a truly special performance at the Droymats pageant this Friday, Lloyd, then we need proper Droymat spirit from each and every one of us. Oh, uh, well, okay, I guess. If I have to. <gasps> if you have to? That's not the Droymat spirit. Ugh. Settle down, Arnie. All right, Nebulon, what's your problem? You mushy biological types are supposed to love droy mats. Every year around this time, you get all festive and sappy and sing your pathetic little hearts out. Well, not me, ma'am. I usually kind of just wait for it to be over with. <gasps> but why? Well, my family, well, we sort of don't actually celebrate droy mats. What do you mean, no droy mats? No hot yam cider? No present bundles? No jolly old father droy mats yelling yip, yip, yip? No, my people celebrate a different holiday this time of year. It's called Fear Lap. Um, excuse me, Lloyd, but I think some of us don't actually know what Fear Lap is. And some of us don't care. I think it's just awful if you have a holiday and it's been completely ignored. Hey, yeah. You're right, Cindy. Every year it's Droy Mats this and Droy Mats that. And I'm tired of it. All this talk about Droy Mats makes a Fear Lap guy like me feel left out. Like some weird... Outsiders. Okay, Nebulon, you make a good point. It's true we don't observe any smear slap tradition. It's still that, Mrs. Bolt, and it is a terrible tragedy that my people and their wonderful holiday are overlooked. But that's okay. I think I can deal with it. Of course, it would help, ma'am, if I were excused from singing any more Droy Mat songs. <laughs> Lloyd, we have decided that you are completely right to feel the way you feel. We've been entirely insensitive to your cultural needs. Well, you sure have. But that's okay. I'll just be over here catching up on my reading. Oh, and... no, 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 no! We've decided that instead of making you sing a Droy Mat song, it's only right to let you share one of your Fear Lap songs with us. I know I'd be delighted to hear one. Wouldn't you all, boys and girls? Uh, you mean like now? But like I said, no one ever sings Fear Lap songs. So I'm kind of rusty and well. All right, Nebulon. This obviously means a lot to you, so we'll put time aside tomorrow just for you. Bone up on your spear clap lore tonight, and tomorrow morning you can come in and tell us the whole tear flap story. Yes, then sing us your song. Oh, how special! I hope you're happy, Nebulon. You finally got what you wanted. Oh, boy. I can't wait to hear about fear lap, Lloyd. What kind of food do you eat? Who cares about food? What about the presents, Lloyd? I'm thrilled at the prospect of learning about Lloyd's fear lap tradition. I must admit, I feel insufficiently knowledgeable about the holiday. Yeah, well, actually, so do I. Come again? <sighs> Look, guys, I really... I really do think Thirlap should be recognized like Droy Mats and all, but the truth is, I hardly know anything about it. But I thought you guys celebrated Thirlap. Well, we do. Sort of. At least my mom mentioned it a couple of times. But I don't know any of the songs, and I don't know any of the Thirlap story. If Jolly Father Droy Mats actually cared about Thirlap children, he'd be very disappointed in you, Lloyd. Yeah, well, that's the least of my worries, Kurt. I've got to sing tomorrow. And give a talk to the class. Well, Lloyd, tonight you better do some big time boning up. Because tomorrow morning, all eyes are going to be on you. Mom, what's the traditional food of your lap? Um, it's sort of a thin, dry pulp gourd cake. I think it's pickled in astro squid brine and left out to dry. Ew. Thanks, Mom. Mom, when did our ancestors start celebrating Thier Lap? I'm not sure, Lloyd. Probably eons ago. Okay. Mom, what's the number one song about Thier Lap? Okay, Lloyd, what is this all about? <sighs> Well, tomorrow I sort of have to teach my whole class about Dear Lap, and I have no idea what to say. I was hoping maybe you could, you know, help me with the holiday facts? Well, I would, Lloyd, but I don't know very many. I did grow up observing a few customs, but my generation, well, we were sort of rebellious and didn't really pay attention. Uh, Lloyd, <laughs> I've searched Intrepidville's entire customs and holidays database, and I found a song. It's called The Pulp Gourd Cake Song. Try and salty too. Flip it, flip it, jump and shout, haroo. 
Haru? Yes, Haru. I tried to look up its meaning, but I'm afraid it's lost to the sands of time. Not necessarily, Station. Lloyd, there is someone who knows all about Theorlap, and he's just a holo call away. Really? Who? Hey, Leo! You got a holo call! Eat your grandson! Ha! Ah, put him through, Myron! Hiya, Grandpa Leo! Lloyd, my boy! Hey, what is that thing? Are you building a doghouse? A doghouse? Why, no, son. I'm building my annual holiday food hut. It's part of Theorlap tradition. Theorlap tradition? Yes! Those are just the two words I'm looking for. See, I'm doing this Deer Lap report for school, and I was hoping you could tell me all about it. I knew the time would come when you'd want to learn more about your holiday. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Cool. Hang on. Okay, go. Well, my boy, it all started long ago on our home planet of Verdigria. Verdigria. Got it. A young villager named Nimrod accidentally left the door open to the Deer Lap, or food storage hut, and all the food went bad. Uh-huh. Nimrod, Deer Lap, food went bad. What next, Grandpa? Well, legend has it that everything spoiled except the briny pulp gourd cakes piled up in the dark corner of the room, which kept the villagers fed for six days until the next rocket load of food arrived from the central grocery hub. Go on, Grandpa. Well, that's it. That is the story of Theerland. That's the whole thing? Yep. Gets me every time. But isn't there anything else? What about traditions? Oh, have we got traditions. During the six days of Theerland, we eat a dry pulp gourd cake every evening. Oh, and we turn off the lights after dinner to remember those dark and hungry days. But what about the fun stuff? Like songs? Any songs? Sure! <clears throat> flip it, flip it, it's dry and salty too. Besides the Pope Gourd Cake song? Hmm. <clears throat> nope. I don't believe so, my boy. Uh, the Pope Gourd Cake song is about it. How about gifts? There's gotta be gifts. Other than the gift of darkness, what more could you want? Oh, uh, nothing, I guess. Well, thanks for all the help, Grandpa. Oh, no, thank you, Lloyd. It's great to see the younger generation taking an interest in the old ways. Cheery Theerlap! Yeah, Cheery Theerlap. Well, there you are, Lloyd. Everything you need to know right there on one very tiny sheet of paper. Some guy named Nimrod spoiled the food so they choked down popcorn cakes for a few days? Big whoop! Well, at least it's a simple story. It's a boring story! But it's your holiday, Lloyd. I'm sure that sharing it with the other children will bring you warmth and happiness. It'll bring me embarrassment. Oh, man. After the scene I made today, I'll be the laughing stock at the school if I try telling that dumb old story. On the other hand, that dumb old story might not be so dumb. If it got an update... An update? Sure! I'll just slice it up a little. You know, sprinkle in a few details. No one around here knows about Fear Lab anyway. Yes, but don't you think your story should be truthful? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Station. I'm just gonna make the truth a little better than it really is. Better, funner, and a whole lot cooler. Oh yeah, Station. By the time I'm done with it, the story of Deer Lap is gonna be the greatest story ever told. Lauf to Kidian. Here. Noggin. Present, of course. Nebulon. Nebulon? Ah, uh, where is that boy? Hark, hark! What the? Behold, Mrs. Bolt, and meet Joyce, for the captain has arrived! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, everybody, but I've been working to the last minute preparing for my big day of Deer Lap Cultural Awareness. Well, crank my hinges, Nebulon. I've never seen you working or preparing, and here you've done both at the same time. What's with the ridiculous get-up? As I say, Mrs. Bolt, I am the captain. These are my colors. See them? Live them? Honor them. Uh, is Lloyd making a fool of himself again? He's scaring me. Right, like this is gonna be so totally boring. Uh, yeah. Shazakwa! <gasps> so saith the Fear Lab elders. Now, class, prepare for the story of my holiday. A holiday which is so cool and so exciting that I had to prepare an audio-visual presentation to do it justice. It all started long, long, long ago on my home planet of Verdigria the brightest, most powerful planet in the Mithropian galaxy. A brave young warrior by the name of Captain Nimrodian Star Surfer was engaged in a fiery laser battle with the evil ice droid from the planet Sleet. A man named Darkest Frost. It was a vicious battle. They both got beat up plenty, but of course, Captain Nimrodian won. Unfortunately, before he did, Darkest Frost managed, with his last evil gasp, to freeze the villagers' Deer Lap Hut in a massive block of poison mercury ice. No, not the Deer Lap Hut! What's a Deer Lap Hut? An excellent question, Kurt. You see, in Verdigrianese, the word Deer Lap means delicious candy and food. The Deer Lap Hut was where the villagers stored their best stuff. It's also where, on each of the six days of the Deer Lap holiday, Baby Snowfall sprinkles hundreds of presents for all the Verdigrian kids. Candy? Presents? For six whole days? Whoa. Whoa. That brings us to the next chapter in the Deer Lap saga. 
With the village of Stirlap Hut frozen in a solid block of poison mercury ice, Captain Imradian did the only thing any brave or Digran warrior could do. He called Old King Lava. Ooh. Yes, Old King Lava was a kindly old man. He had big smoky eyebrows and a huge molten belly that jiggled and wiggled and melting that took place during the climactic battle of Thirlap. We make a giant Big Lord flavored ice block. Then we melt it and serve it as part of the fabulous traditional Thirlap feast of, uh, melted stuff. The end. I love melted stuff. Man, Thirlap is cool. The food, the candy, the presents. If you think Thirlap is cool now, just wait till you hear my song. Say dear lap, say what? Say dear lap, say what? So hey, hey party people, it's that time of year for my favorite holiday and it starts with dear. Say dear lap, say what? Say dear lap, what? what? It's the time that's a bomb when we sing and dance a rap, getting presents, eating candy, celebrating dear lap. Come on, baby snowball, let's turn up the cheer. It's dear lap and it's live and it starts right here. Anytime, my little Verdigrian friend. Thirlap rocks the hut! Er, uh, yes, Lloyd. Thank you for sharing your song with us. You certainly showed some really special enthusiasm. But are you sure that loud music is actually part of your tradition? Sure it is, Miss Tronica. It's a traditional Thirlap carol, known as the Fresh and Fat Thirlap Rap. Well, I suppose it did have a certain youthful appeal. So does this whole Thirlap story, Miss Tronica. Yeah. In fact, you know what? We shouldn't just do a Draymats pageant Friday night. We should do a Thirlap pageant, too. What a first-rate idea. It could be the grand finale of the entire holiday extravaganza. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You can't just share it with us, Nebulon. Everyone should know about Thirlap. What do you say, Miss Tronica? If not for Lloyd, can you do it for his people? Yeah. 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 Lloyd, as a matter of multicultural harmony, we would be proud to feature your wonderful holiday in our wonderful holiday pageant. Yeah! And I'm sure that you're just as excited as I am that students from across the school, along with their parents, will finally get to see firsthand what your holiday is really all about. <laughs> <laughs> Station, have you seen my floor ball bat? It'll make a great warrior sword. Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, man, I've got to put together props and costumes, rehearsals and choreography, all by Friday. Might your time not be better spent reconsidering what it is you're doing? I mean, making up your own version of Thirlap is one thing, but doing an entire pageant? Isn't that a bit large and, well, misleading? Maybe, but in a good way. I mean, I wasn't sure at first, but everyone was so excited. They loved Thirlap. After Miss Tronica agreed to let me do the pageant, most of the kids even volunteered to be in it. Who knows? Before long, Thirlap could be just as big as Joy Mats. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have one more festive holiday around here. And I do love a pageant. Lloyd, you have a holo call. <laughs> Probably one of my excited cast members calling to say how excited he is to be in the cast. Yep, Nora, I've got a feeling this is going to be the best holiday season ever. Hey, there's my favorite grandson. Oh, uh, hi, Grandpa Leo. How's everything? Fantastic. I just sent you some pulp gourd cakes via Sonic Mail so you can eat them by tonight. Oh, hey, neat. <laughs> and I hear that little fear lap report you gave in class went over pretty well. Oh, uh, yeah, Grandpa Leo. Everybody loved it. Oh, absolutely. Especially after Lloyd and all those... Uh, all those heartfelt sentiments. Like I was just saying to Station Grandpa, nothing can improve the old story of Fear Lab. I'm sure you really did it justice, son. Uh, yep, but oh my, look at the time. I really better get going. I've got a whole lot more traditional Fear Lab stuff to do. Oh yes, I'm sure Lloyd is going to concoct a few more... Whoa! I've never seen him so enthusiastic. What did you tell him, Dad? Just told him like it is, girl. <laughs> I knew he'd appreciate Fear Lab one day, and seeing as how much he does appreciate it, I know he'll appreciate my big surprise. Oh, boy! Is it candy for me? Better than that. <laughs> I thought I'd come on over Friday night and have a proper Fear Lap Eve celebration with the whole family. How's that sound? Dad, I think that would be wonderful. Great! Then I figure while I'm in town, we could also go see this Fear Lap pageant Lloyd's doing. Just don't tell him I'm coming, okay? Okay, but why not? Because, well, the fact is, seeing Lloyd pass on the traditions to all them people just the same way I passed them on to him. It's going to be a real special moment for me. I don't even want him to see me until after the show. When I run up and give him a hug, and he'll be looking into the teary old eyes of the proudest grandpa who ever lived. Wow! 
So, hey, is your mom here yet? I don't see her. She must be late for some reason. Places, places, everybody, for the Therlap pageant. You're on in five minutes. Oh, well, the show must go on. Good luck, old King Lava. Luck, Captain Nimrodian. And remember, Shizakwa! Look at all these people, Nora, just waiting to hear the real story of Therlap. This is one of the most exciting nights of my life. I'm bored! Shh. Ladies, gentlemen, ambivalent life forms, energy bags, presenting Lloyd Nebulon's Therlap pageant entitled The Amazing Therlap Spectacular Review. Long, long ago, on the planet of Verdigria, there stood a little Therlap hut for all the villagers to enjoy. But this was no ordinary hut. This was the hut that Funk built! Say Therlap! Say what? Say Therlap! Say what? So hey, party people, it's the time of year for my favorite holiday, and it starts with Deer! Beware, Verdigrian villagers! It is I, Darkus Frost. I have come to freeze your food and candy hut for all eternity! <laughs> Stop right there, Darkus Frost! You may be cold, but you sure ain't cool. And I say that things are heating up. Captain Nimrodian, let's toast them. Ah! If you Everyone, may the holiday spirit be with you. That is the story of Deerlap. And that concludes our show for tonight. Of course, I'd like to thank each and every child for his and her special contribution. But most of all, I'd like to thank Lloyd Nebulon for opening our eyes to his culture's very own fabulous tradition of drama, excitement, and... Louis! Excuse me? I said fooey! Grandpa Leo? I didn't know you were gonna be here! Nah, you thought I'd be ten million miles away where I wouldn't be able to see your... your pageant! Well, I saw it, all right! And it's a pageant of lies! You've destroyed Deer Lap, Lloyd! Destroyed it! Dad! Let me go, Nora! This is the most shameful night of my life! But, Grandpa! Oh, Mom, I didn't mean to make Grandpa mad! But, is it true, Lloyd? You made all this up? Well, maybe... Sort of. We've been participating in a shameful holiday scam? There's no such thing as baby snowfall? <laughs> Great, Lloyd. Now look what you've done. Oh, Mom, this is a disaster. What am I going to do? Well, I suggest you start with your grandfather. You better go talk to him. <sighs> okay. Good news, Mommy. I'm not born anymore. Baby snowball lava man. Stupidest nonsense I ever heard of. Grandpa? Leave me alone, Lloyd, or Sergeant Star Scoop, or whoever the heck you think you are. Grandpa, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see any of this. Yeah, well, that's pretty obvious. You never would have tried to get away with all them lies if you thought the old man would be around. I, I wouldn't really call them lies. Of course they were. Their lap don't have any lasers or explosions or people made out of magma. Okay, so maybe I did lie a little, but I did it for a good reason, Grandpa. I just wanted all my friends, I don't know... To like Therlap. What do you care if your friends like Therlap or not? It's a holiday, not a thrill ride. All that matters is what Therlap means to you. But to be honest with you, I kind of don't like it all that much either. Ah, yes. Eating pulp gourd cakes and turn out the lights ain't quite exciting enough for you. Well, no. It's kind of not exciting at all. I guess that's true. Therlap don't stack up against joy mats at all when it comes to excitement. Exactly. Yeah, I see. You completely missed the point. Listen, boy. 3,000 years ago, something amazing happened to your ancestors. When we build a hut and break open a pulp gourd cake, we're not doing it for kicks. We're doing it to remember them and how they survived. Because without the folks that came before us, there would be no us. Nah, no, Lloyd. Fear Lap ain't about excitement. It's about you. And showing your respects for everyone who made you possible. Your great-great-grandfathers and your great-grandfathers. And your grandfathers. Well, here comes the show crowd. I reckon we better head home. As a special surprise, I set up a hut in the living room for a Therlap Eve celebration. But I guess I'll understand if you don't want to come. And so came the sixth day, upon which the supply rocket did at long last return from the grocery hub. And Quagmire the Elder gathered unto him the Verdigrians and said thus, 
Take ye now this dried poke cord cake, which has saved us these six days, and savor its pungent, salty, squiddy flavor, for it reminds us that we may still live, and through those yet to come, we shall live yet more. Thanks, Grandpa. You're welcome, son. Go ahead, take a bite. Um, actually, I'd rather wait. Because right now, if you don't mind, I kind of think I'd like to read the next part. Of course not, my boy. I wouldn't mind at all. And Quagmire said unto them, Let us evermore come together upon the state to remember the Theolat miracle, and sing this tribute together as one with all who have come before us. Flip it, flip it, it's dry and salty too. Flip it, flip it, jump and shout haru. Flip it, flip it, some popcorn cake to chew. Flip it, flip it, jump and shout haroo.